So things have been moving fast lately. We just watched the Action 6 rollout in China, and now the global launch is basically locked in for November 18th. And if you're curious about what this thing is shaping up to be, there's another video you can check out. Just keep in mind, we still don't have the full details yet, especially the smaller stuff, but here's where the timeline gets interesting. December is loaded with DJI drops, and it's not random. This all lines up with the US import deadline coming up on December 23rd, 2025. DJI is clearly speeding up their release cycle, trying to push out as much top tier gear as possible before that window closes. Now, let's talk about the DJI Osmo Pocket 4. Just a few hours ago, Igor Bogdanov posted a new image, and this one actually tells us a lot. You can clearly see the dual camera setup, and the design looks way more refined compared to that earlier leak. Remember that chunky, almost prototype level head with the soft edges? Yeah, this new one feels much more polished, like something that's already out in the wild for real world testing. DJI does this all the time. They hand out near final units to test autofocus, color consistency, stabilization, and how the camera behaves in actual environments. Mixed lighting, random movement, crowds, the stuff you can't recreate in a lab, and the Pocket 4 entering mass production pretty much confirms things are getting serious. We're still not diving into full specs today, mostly because nothing fresh has surfaced, but the broad picture hasn't changed. A larger main sensor, rumored 1 inch, a secondary lens that's likely telephoto, hidden buttons under the display, a rear screen, Hasselblad tuning, and better durability across the board. That's the lineup as of now. Then there's the DJ Ayavada 360, which has been creeping into the spotlight. Those promo style images that leaked weren't random at all. We were all expecting something around this time, ever since Insta360 teased their anti-gravity event back in July. The Avata 360 is rumored to shoot 8K full sphere footage, probably using tech pulled from DJI's recent 360 action camera. The cool part, um, it's not just a 360 camera drone, it can switch into a traditional FPV view with a single lens thanks to its one axis mechanical tilt system, so you basically get two shooting modes in one airframe. The images also show multiple sensors, four up front with what looks like both visual and lidar modules, plus additional side sensors. That hints at something close to full directional awareness, which would be a big deal for an FPV style craft. There's even talk that it might come in under 250 grams, which would slide it into the C0 category. Always a bonus, it's expected to support a traditional joystick style controller for pilots who want precise cinematic control, while also working with the DJIRC Motion 3 paired with goggles N3. That combo fits perfectly with the direction DJI's FPV ecosystem has been moving toward. And when you compare that to Insta360's Anti-Gravity A1, which only works with a single controller type, DJI offering broader controller support would be a pretty big advantage. More info should drop any moment, so if you want to stay on top of everything DJI is cooking right now, make sure you're subscribed. Catch you in the next one. Peace.